She put her arms around me and she gave me a big hug and she says, we're going to be okay. I never for a second thought that Patsy wasn't coming home. My husband was um, a civilian worker uh, employed by the Ministry of Defence. The IRA classed him as a legitimate target of war. They took over our home and they took Patsy away, left me and the children under armed guard. They took him over the border, chained him to a vehicle loaded with 1,200 pounds of explosives and he was forced to drive it to the army checkpoint at Khosh Kwan, where it was exploded by remote control. Uh, five soldiers and Patsy were murdered that night. They were blown to pieces. My way of surviving this tragedy was to do work with peace and reconciliation, and that, which has brought me to this and meeting that. My mother's brother was one of the people killed on Bloody Sunday. I went to two main funerals. I lived through the hunger strikes. It would eventually lead me to become a member of the IRA. With a lot of tears, telling what I could of my story to these women who were from different backgrounds. I turned towards Callan and this makes me tear up as well. She put her arms around me and she gave me a big hug and she says, we're going to be okay. Now I didn't come into this looking for forgiveness and Callan. She wasn't getting it. This, this talks about not forgiving, but the power of this process, the acceptance of my story paved the way for the friendship that we have now. And I would say that this is more than friendship, this is love. It gives me great hope as well. I just feel that Patsy's death is not in vain, that there's some good coming out of it.